Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel and uh, it is always a pleasure to have you on my channel. I do appreciate the time that you have taken. You could be elsewhere but you are chosen to be with me here today as we speak on a topic that I think would be important to you. If it is your first time on this channel and you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to the channel, uh, like after you have seen uh, the video, if you like it, please, please like it so that this message can be able to spread to much, much more people. So thank you again for coming and I will go straight on to one of the reasons or one of the habits that is making you not achieve your financial goals. Ladies and gentlemen, we all acquire certain habits and certain tendencies that affect the way we act and the way we, 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 we act with our money. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that it is easy to earn money, but it is hard to keep money. It is easy uh, to, to, to bring money and income, and it is easy to tell you, do this so that you may make money, but it is hard to hold on to that money. So today I'm going to tackle a subject that will help you keep that money and keep that money growing for you. And this habit that is so terrible for your finances is the habit of, uh, of, of, of showing others your wealth, the, the, the habit of showing an image. You know, you want to live like a celebrity. You want to show others that you have made it. Uh, and it's, it's one of those behaviors that is so bad that it would actually astonish you. Uh, research has shown that uh, 80% of millionaires lose their millionaire status within five years. So if you become a millionaire today, it is 80% chance that you will not be a millionaire in the next five years. Uh, it is so saddening that uh, 80% of celebrities who either fall from grace or are unable to create income or have income lose their wealth considerably. Somebody earns in the course of their life millions and millions uh, in income uh, from their celebrity status and the, the fact that they influence others to buy things and to do what not. Celebrities, that is. But in a matter of uh, years, they lose all their money. It's a terrible behavior because um, of several factors. And I'm going to take uh, you through these factors. Why it is so critical that you have the habit of um, living uh, conservatively and not spending all your money and showing how you have money. Uh, one of the ways that you lose uh, with this habit is you lose the opportunity cost of investing. By you buying these expensive toys and expensive gadgets and live in, living in these exotic places, you forgo the opportunity to invest that money for a greater return. Because you are acquiring luxurious commodities that do not earn you any money. Ladies and gentlemen, I would want you, th you to think critically. Every cent that you have should be able to bring value to you either directly by meeting your needs or creating future value or buying your future time by creating income for you that you can be able to enjoy in the future. Remember that you do not have the, ener the energy that you have is only for a season at a time. Remember that the time that you have to earn and to work is only for a time. It's so saddening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, we have so many athletes and so many of these people who make their money from, from sports. But did you know that an athlete has around only eight years of active uh, um, uh, sports activity and earning before the, their income and their potential starts going down? So ladies and gentlemen, it is important to take advantage of every single amount and allow it to make money for you as long as it, it can. So the other thing is social pressure. Remember every time that you show that you have, showing your nice house and your nice, and your nice uh, car and uh, your nice trips and all these things, it creates a, a kind of social pressure. People around you want you to secure, give them loans and give them funding and, and, and invest in their projects and do this and that. In fact, if you do not do it, you'll actually lose friends and lose family and you'll create an enmity. And that is not your intention, ladies and gentlemen. You want as few people as possible not to be against you. So remember, it creates a lot of social pressure when you have this lifestyle of trying to show. Ladies and gentlemen, the other thing is it brings a snowball of expenses. This habit brings a snowball of expenses. Once you acquire a car, you feel that uh, indeed uh, people who have such a car need to live in a certain place and in a certain location. Once you uh, acquire some money and you feel 
uh, that you have started to make it and you have bought a car, you feel that you can no longer eat and your local le uh, food store or truck business, the one that supplies food on the street, you now need to go on a five-star hotel with a three-course meal and a four-figure uh, expense at the end of the month. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to think critically that every single, every single thing you do because of this habit brings a snowball of expenses. And that is expenses over and above um, uh, what you might actually plan for. So ladies and gentlemen, it's also important to note that these luxury commodities lose value very fast. In fact, if you have a, a, a one-time uh, a kind of a car, yeah, you know, you're the only person in that town with such a car, a luxurious car with all um, the, hob the, 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 the things that uh, bring the luxury and the nice things. It is actually even harder to be able to sell that car should the need for income or, uh, for, or for the need for you to meet an expense come. Because people who can be able to afford such a car would not buy a second hand car in the first place. So it is important to think, ladies and gentlemen, think these luxury commodities and luxury goods lose value extremely fast compared to the goods and services and the other things that uh, normal people buy. Because again, these normal things that people buy, a normal car and a normal house, people are always in the need to buy here and there. And so you'd still readily acquire a market for that. The other thing that they do not tell you is these luxury goods uh, in, indeed look ugly very fast. The more fancy the item, the more it looks terrible when it is not taken care of. They would also not tell you that these luxury goods require much more care and attention. The bigger the house, the more the cleaning cost, the more the, the cost of repairing and, and, and changing tiles here and there. So ladies and gentlemen, it's important to think. Every time that you feel the need to have this habit of trying to show others that you've this celebrity-like ability uh, and, 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 and potential, it affects you critically so don't be part of the statistic don't be part of those celebrities or people who uh, people will always show an example of how they have not made it in life so set a good example and not a bad example of how to manage your income and expenses so ladies and gentlemen remember all these things are within your means it is very easy to change a habit which will affect your finances positively than to not change your habit and pay for it the rest of your life. So I hope that I have helped you, ladies and gentlemen. So before you invest in that mansion and in that big house, especially if the intention is to show your wealth, and sometimes this happens to people who grew up in abject poverty, because you now need feel the need to show the people that you grew up with that you have made it in life, that you are making something of yourself. Before you do this, remember the things that I have taken you through. That indeed... Um, the people who come because of their wealth are not necessarily the genuine friends that, friends that you need to have. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to educate you, to elevate you, and to motivate you to become a better you. So if you feel that this vlog did help you, kindly subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, like this video, and let us always speak to one another and let us help one another in all things finance. So as you think about your 2021, think about the habits that influence your spending and your financial ability.